Right, well, once you've got your plan, your full business continuity plan, and you have tested it, tried it out in, in various ways, uh, you have to maintain it. You, situations change. It, like I say, you know, for a large company, this process is going to have taken three years. And so by the time three years has passed in our modern society, uh, all kinds of things uh, can have changed. Just look at the changes before and after COVID, and that was only three years. So, um, you know, that's very significant changes in terms of what we do, the way we do things, um, so many changes in regard to uh, all our business practices. And, and uh, we, you know, just need to, to address those types of issues. Um, so we're going to have to maintain the plan. We're going to have to revisit it. We're going to have to see what has changed. Are our mission critical business units still mission critical? Have we moved on? Are, are, are there processes that we have outgrown? Uh, has our business changed? Has the market changed? Has the, the, the resources for our business changed? And for every one of those changes, we have to revisit what is important in the business continuity plan. Um, sometimes we have to provide new functions that we didn't have to address before. Sometimes uh, some of the things that we relied upon before or, or you know, uh, we, we had to ensure that we had, they were crucial to our business, um, are much more reliable nowadays. And we don't have to take as much uh, work to ensure that we still have those functions or services. So, you know, we, we have to plan again or, or at least assess our plans. Um, you know, we don't have to go through absolutely every step. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a good idea to, to revisit. You know, is the scope still the same? Are there things that have uh, alerted us to the fact that there are other areas that we didn't include in our first version of our plan or, or the prior version of our plan, which we now realize we, we really do have to address? So, maintenance. We have reviews. Do this regularly. Um, uh, you know, maybe yearly. Um, maybe more often. It depends on how uh, new your business is. How, how rapidly your particular industry is changing. Uh, and we certainly see that in, in technology. But in any case, regular reviews. Testing. And then we get our updates to the plans. Um, we, you know, we have changed something. Now we got, you know, version control issues, which we're aware of from code, but we have to have this in terms of the plan. It's no good if different people have different versions of the plan. And, and you know, uh, Bob is waiting for Alice to perform some task and Alice doesn't even have a mention of that task in her version. So, you know, we, we've got to ensure that the plan distribution um, is, you know, that we have version control, that we take out old pieces, that we add the new pieces, uh, and make sure that everybody is, quite literally, on the same page. Um, again, you know, this is... Um, uh, going to take some lessons from our, our change management processes, uh, again, from uh, software development. Um, so, having uh, testing strategies to ensure that our reviews um, and our, our testing and our, our training is appropriate to the 
the current version of the plan, the current situation, the current business situation. Um, and again, you know, the, the training in all its uh, forms, um, the general awareness that, yes, we do have a business continuity plan uh, and that, you know, there, there are going to be uh, changes in operation under that plan uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, the uh, help desk, remember them? Uh, you know, again, the, the people who are probably going to get the first warning of some untoward uh, incident. And so we, we need to ensure that they get proper training on that. Who do they call when they see something that may have to be escalated? Um, when we're talking about training, remember that it's going to be easier to teach business continuity and disaster recovery principles and procedures than the business itself. And so we don't want to hire in people who are business continuity experts but don't know anything about our business. Or at least, you know, we, we don't want to rely on them to take over the whole thing. We, we've got to have uh, local knowledge, business knowledge, knowledge of our enterprise informing it. Now, you know, yes, it's a good thing to have some experts part of the team if you can afford that. But certainly, you know, you can't just hand it to them. You've, you've got to, you know, those of you who know the business, who know the enterprise, have to be the ones in, in control. Um, so, uh, again, more specific training. Um, we are going to need uh, to train the, the members of our uh, business continuity teams, um, the uh, special tasks that they may have, the special skills that they will need in an emergency, in different types of emergencies, um, you know, so all of this, uh, you know, this is, this is part of our maintenance, um, not just preparing the document, but preparing the people to implement the document. And all of this, uh, once again, it's, um, you know, I, I kind of poo-pooed this at the beginning, but um, all of this, while in isolation, the individual pieces can help, um, it is better if you have the full plan, um, as it is in security as a whole.